It is time. Hello. I just love that. The, the remaster track is so nice. It's one of the best things. It was a it was a highlight of my day, honestly, when I heard it. So, uh, the new update is out. Uh, Creatures of the Seventh Gyre. Creatures of the Seventh Gyre. Let me try and say that right. Um, it's time. I'm I'm ready. I'm gonna be playing classic mode. Um, I've been working on a build. Uh, I actually I put together a build and then I pitched it to Birdie and Birdie has uh, given me a better version of uh, my my build but basically it is a scorpion person and um, they've got some thematic mutations and some non uh, thematic mutations but the, for the most part they are in the spirit of a scorpion and uh we're gonna be doing this build on classic mode and i'm gonna be playing it legit no takesy backsies if i die i die we're gonna be playing with the jopa run i know that bothers some people but please forgive please forgive do not do not destroy do not kill um there's a bunch of new things there's a bunch of new content there's a lot of things to talk about and um yeah uh, the story nears its completion um the series with galen is now complete as of well my current present day uh the series with narf is complete i haven't played the game in well i've played it in my off time a little bit here and there but for the most part i've been uh, i haven't really done anything and i know i had a series that was kind of like pending um, but I figured, you know, new update, let's just start from scratch. And I'm sorry for those who are, uh, you know, enjoying that series. Sorry about that. Sometimes these things happen. Um, you know, gotta, I gotta strike while the, while the iron's hot and some irons got cold as a, you know, consequence of that. But, um, this is classic mode. So. Shall we? Shall we shall um, there's new skills uh, There is now a single weapon fighting which is going to benefit this new build greatly I think Because um, I will be set a single weapon fighting. Um, I could make it a multi-weapon fighting build but I really like the perks of the single weapon fighting and that means we can make this a shield build um, So that should be really cool uh, the gimmick or the central focus of this build is going to be uh, using our, uh, where is it? Am I just like not seeing it? What is wrong with my eyes right now? Adrenal control, double muscled. This is the wrong build. Where is it? This is the wrong build. God dang it. Gosh dang it. Where's my stinger? Where is my stinger? Oh, that was the Highlander. That was Birdie. Birdie that's Birdie's legit build. This is, there's the scorpion. Okay. Uh, proboscis, heightened quickness, multiple legs, night vision, stinger. Sorry about that. Um, let's make a, let's, let's get a Maroque. I think I've already done a Maroque. Comet. Cumet. All right, sorry about that. Cumet, stranger. Uh, yeah, the, the main focus of the build is going to be using my stinger um, as my main weapon. I mean, that makes sense for a scorpion. And um, we start with a recycling suit, which is kind of nice. I haven't start, started with one of those. We're going to make sure that we tab to our stinger so that it is our primary weapon. Uh, we do have hooks for feet. Uh, hooks for feet is no longer exploitable, so I'm going to be using it legit. But the nice thing, um, this was a recommendation um, from from birdie. Thank you very much for this and it makes a lot of sense is since uh, multiple legs already kind of nerfs my feet um, In a sense like I have More than one. Oh, okay. okay apparently only one set of four feet uh, Has the hooks for feet. So I guess I could have um, There wouldn't have been a huge problem But hooks for feet is a pretty good defect and it allows us to take some other things So I'm pretty good with that and AV uh, as I, I've come to learn that AV is not 
as much of a problem is uh it's not as much of a problem that requires solving and just let me just close the door don't worry about this i don't ugh, ugh, ugh. all right cool we did get the quest before we did that right yeah we did okay <laughs> that would have been a little goofy um let's get our quest from Mehmet. i did uh i was playing a little bit last night and i accidentally went and acquired the gersh uh, the Gershling before I got the quest and it's not actually that bad. You, you just have to go and witness the Gersh um, But then you you know, it's fine. No, it, nothing breaks Do I have anything I can give to our guy? It doesn't look like it. So um, I'm gonna be going through the Jopa crack and um, This can be dicey there can be some like really brutal like random deaths i got like i got randomly grenaded by a, a snap jaw last night i was just doing a little bit of playing i didn't want to spoil too much for myself but you know these things happen and um yeah so this is our build i mean it's multiple uh, legs so we have like ridiculous movement speed um i'm going to be basically uh i'm gonna be upgrading our legs first before i do our stinger and then i'm gonna be using our rapid advancement on our stinger uh and we're going to be trying to be very careful and navigate using our movement speed to the best of our benefit and uh poisoning things and walking away from them and that's how we're going to be very careful in the early game uh and then eventually we'll be upgrading like our stinger slowly but surely and uh yeah, it should be good. Should We should have every advantage, basically. Um, I'm not very lucky. Resist the effect of our venom. I'm not getting very lucky with this poison right now. I guess I could just, like, smack him a couple times. A bear at level 1 is a little bit spicy, but I guess never mind. They are just dead. Uh, I've grown to really appreciate the long blade, hence why my my build now I, i'm gonna call this my build um like it's not like i'm placing a flag in the turf or anything like that but uh this is the one this is this is like my uh, rhinocena you know like I, I i'm uh it may it may change over time but this is the one i've really cr grown to accustomed to it's one i've grown to really appreciate uh, I really like the movement speed. I actually really like the stinger. It's one of my favorite mutations. And uh, I really like the theming of this build. But in any case, um, there's a lot of things I really enjoy about it. But the movement speed, the movement speed is is so good. But there's a lot of things I really like about this this build. Not just the movement speed, but the... Um, the stinger being a long blade is low-key one of the coolest synergies in caves of cut in my opinion um i just really appreciate it for a number of reasons uh ooh, we got a chameleon chameleon can actually be really tough but we have a couple of dogs helping us out and they died and that was good we'll go ahead and recover um when you use a lunge when you have a stinger when you're using your stinger as a your main weapon then uh, I believe it counts as a sting. Like you basically have a second sting effect, which is really cool. Uh, the new, oof, this is really kind of spicy actually. Okay, let's, uh, let's not take any chances. I'm just gonna walk over here. Oh, something is blocking our way. I'm gonna walk over here and then come down here and yeah, we have a little bit of a, we're gonna exploit the extra screen oh, 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 oh crocodile um yeah so basically you have an extra sting ability and now with the single weapon fighting um single weapon fighting is one of my favorite additions uh, i gotta say i love i mean um you know dual wielding has always been a, fa a fan favorite it's always been like something you uh, eventually grab on every single build but i really like single weapon fighting it's something i would like to see more of in like like-minded rpgs but basically it has a chance to um recover the cooldown of your other weapon attacks two random weapon attacks or shield skills are immediately refreshed so what that means is that um it actually synergizes quite nicely with the stinger 
because it means that your lunge may come off cooldown whenever you make an attack, I think it is. Is it whenever you make an attack? Whenever you score a critical hit. So, I mean, yeah, you have to, you have to score a critical hit, but basically you have a chance of getting a free extra stinging, stinging attack, which is really quite nice. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these seed spitters right now. They are proving to be a problem. Ooh, ow. Ooh and ow. Shrine of Oridatis, leaf in corn silk. Oh, we have learned the location of our third historical site. It's not even, we're not even like two floors down and we're already learning lots of things. Uh, I'm going to be trying to pl play a little bit more methodical. I'm going to be playing a lot more cautiously. Um, I'm going to be taking less chances. I'm going to be, you know, putting my, you know, like basically changing gears from role play mode back to, to classic mode. I've been wanting to jump back into classic mode for a while now. And that chameleon really, really did it. Did we managed to steal them. No, resist the effect. That's fine. The sting effect is uh, outside of like potentially poisoning is also a very effective attack. And hey, we got a mutation. So can we put that in multiple legs? I don't think we can. Um, we could put it in heightened quickness, but I think we should just leave it for now. I already have pretty good movement speed. Our movement speed is 140, which means we can already outpace most things. Uh, could go and kill that other seed spinner. There we go. Right now, 25 XP can mean a great deal. Ooh, we've got a centipede. Centipede's pretty good XP at this point. 125 for free. That was quite nice. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna... Ooh, okay. We've got... Alright, I'm really glad I made the decision to, uh, get back on the stairs there. Centipede resisting my... You miss with your prob proboscis. Let's just... Okay, cool. We got, the, we got the XP. We got the credit for that one. Step away, and um, ooh, they're making enemies with the beetle. I'm not going to join you on that warpath, doggos, I'm afraid. Oh, Electro... The Electro Fugue is a really unfortunate, like, find down here. I'm really not a fan, and it can... 100% just end your run before it even starts. Do we have a ranged weapon? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan of this. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and kite them around a little bit, and we're going to continue downwards without fighting the Electrofugue. Maybe I should bail out, just hit the bricks now while I have the opportunity, but I... This is what I one thing I really like about movement speed as our, our like main escape is like the ability to just kind of kite something around and just say no, no thanks, I'm, I'm good, is uh, it's something I've really come to appreciate. Like with uh, Galen's build and the insane mo movement speed he got with Cathedra, uh, I was a little bit envious. I'm a little, I'm still a little bit envious because we're never going to get Cathedra, but we will get other things. And who knows, this build may develop. We may get other mutations. So, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I will put the build, um, code in the description, and I guess this is on the latest version of CUD, so you can play along if you want. Um, I can, I, I suppose I could put the seed also in the description if you request but I really don't think there's much point because the build seed rarely works and it's just one of those things that, you know, I, I don't think there's much point to it, but um, I can do, wow, scaled woven tunic, nice find. That is a really nice find this early on. Ooh, we got a snap jaw brute. Sting. Aha, he's poisoned, and then we just walk away and 
watch them die slowly uh, or, or you know you know or or not when we hit i guess we've already hit level four so now i'm going to go ahead and take um long blade and if we have the points i'd like to get lunge we do not have the points lunge is going to be one of our first things but i am going to switch to i guess we're already on defensive stance and we're going to keep it on defensive stance for the time being um because the extra dv is actually quite nice this early on you can see our dv right now is eight um and that really makes a difference when we eventually get the dueling stance then i may switch to that for our lunge and then we can start disarming creatures as well as stinging them. I believe it does both at once. I always, uh, I'm a little bit, you know, all wielding long blade in your primary hand, you get plus two bonus to hit with long blades and short blades. And then the lunge is, uh, how do, how do I go through that? Attack an opponent and attempt to disarm them. Difficulty plus 25 plus your agility modifier. Oh, it's agility bait. Uh, it's swipe. Whoops. I guess we want both. It's swipe, and then it, I guess... Okay, so lunge is... When you're in dueling... Attack and att Wait, what? What am I... What is happening right now? <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm trying to read the whole thing, and it's proving to be very difficult right now. No, it's, it's just straight up not letting... Oh, I guess I don't have to? No, I have to. How do I read the whole thing? Eight. Nope. How? how I, I've played this game for 500 hours. How in the attack an opponent with plus one to your penetration roll. The attack is guaranteed to hit and penetrate at least once. Okay, so that's lunge on dueling stance. And then attack an opponent. Okay, so lunge is just um, an extra pen on our roll. The attack is guaranteed to hit. Yeah, so that's actually really nice. That synergizes quite nicely with um, single attacking roll or single weapon skill. I don't know what it's called. Expertise. Um, because that basically improves our chance of getting a critical. So we can basically, in our dueling stance, we could do a lunge, potentially critical, and then it'll, you know, get we'll get back our uh, cool cooldown. For something like our, our swipe. Oof. Warlords are actually not as big of an issue when you have poison because they're susceptible to the poison and they don't have a lot of health, so they can actually die to the poison. He didn't, however. Um not gonna play games, not gonna play stupid games, at least not until our stinger is back. Okay, they're poisoned again. Wounded. Badly wounded. Dead. Love to see it. Yeah. Oh, slumberling. Oh, that would have been nasty. Oh, I got really lucky there, actually. I they the stupid snap jaws could have. Oh god. Oh, please don't die. Okay, snap. Which would bark? Eat that. Wait for a moment. Okay, you buddy, you're dead. All right, cool. We're good. Centipede. It's a bit of a problem. Ouch. That was a that was a misplay by me. Where is he? He poisoned, he's poisoned. Cool. Yeah, alright, cool, he's dead. Um no, oh slug snail. Okay, that's that's good enough. I'm good. Let's I'm not gonna mess around with the slug snout. Wait, did something die? I'm just wondering if maybe it alerted the slumberling. Wonder if I could get the slugs now to kill this or um, attack the slumberling. I don't think so. I don't want to mess around with this anymore. Oh, and we still have the electro fugue. Amazing. And this has been kind of a curse to uh, Jopa Crack, I gotta say. We've had just about all of the baddies, all of the big bads. Slumberling, Slug Snout, Electrofugue. The only thing I didn't see was a um, 
Glomoth. Glomoth is a, a very possible um, find in the Jopa Crack, and, and that's always a bummer. So we're just going to go back, have a bite to eat, get lost in the marsh. You know, uh, you love to see it. And, uh, okay, we're, we're going to go to Red Rock. I may have gotten a little bit lost on the east or west side. This is the east side. Regain our bearings. We're good. Staircase is there. We're going the normal way, basically. There's another weird artifact. We'll grab that copper nug. Uh, kill. Lots of jilted lovers, which is nice. We can get a lover lover's blossom. We didn't. That's fine. Fractured microchip. This is a little, little lab here. You see that? This is like a little, little tiny lab here. Someone was experimenting. Appreciate that. Ooh, that's a uh, witchwood wreath. We do have harvestry, so uh, yeah, we did break down witchwood wreath into witchwood bark. Love that. Yeah. So this build um, does come with harvestry, but not cooking and gathering, which is a little bit strange, but um, actually really appreciated because it means we get to take advantage of those like dread root tubers in the beginning um it's it's quite nice actually and actually finding a witchwood wreath that's a that's a weird one but uh i kind of i'm kind of kind of all about it all right we've got some centipedes doggo should help us doggo is helping us We're good doggo leveled up bleeding I do have bandages. There is also um, Medicaid, Medicare has been like rebalanced. So now you, it's physic and it's a much cheaper tree, I think. Staunch wounds, um, so that's like 50 skill points to learn how to staunch wounds, which is quite nice. Um, there is actually quite a lot of creatures in the late game that can cause like a lot of stacks of bleeding. So that's really nice for only 50 skill points to kind of help that. Nostrum, you can treat bleeding, poison, illness, and disease on set for you and your companions at a campfire. That's interesting. Uh, that would help a lot, actually, in uh, Bethesda Sousa. If there's, like, the ick, ick slugs, those can be a problem. Amputate limb. You can voluntarily amputate your own limbs and the limbs of infected companions. Why would you want to do that? Well, uh, I'm sure if you've played this game long enough, you would know there's a few reasons why you would want to amputate limb. Um, if it's a cheap and effective way to basically get rid of a fungal infection, if, uh, you know, if that's really bugging you, um, or, uh, if you are, you know, if you've got a disease or if you've got a, you know, there's a couple of things, like, there's a couple of reasons why you would want to do it. Basically, you would only do it if you've already, if, if it's already too late and you've got some kind of disease that's really difficult to cure. Um, healing tonics you apply last an extra round. So this is going to be one of those skills that is worth taking probably every single run, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, I really, really appreciate that. That's a really good one. So we do have enough skill points. We could take single weapon fighting, but I really want to hold out a little bit for long blade. I don't know. This is, uh, it's not, it's not really worth it yet. Long blade. We want swipe at the very least, or dueling stance. Like, I've got expensive needs. You know, we could. Um, our intelligence is 17 right now. I could put an attribute point into intelligence. I think would be a, a good use of our point. We're gonna need to put a lot of points into intelligence so we we can get tinkering and we can also you know get more skill points and stuff like that. We have some more mutation points. Can we put it in multiple legs yet? Yes. Okay. Cool. So we're putting it in multiple legs, and as soon as we I think if we level up one more time, we will get our first rapid advancement, and then we can up our stinger. 
And I think that that's a good way of doing that because um, upping your escape is probably more effective for survival than upping your damage. It's really tempting to like, oh yeah, let's put all of our, you know, all of our uh, eggs in the damage basket. It's really tempting as a player. I've done it many times myself, but putting points in movement speed, like look at, look at our movement speed right now. Plus 60 movement speed and also plus 8% carry capacity. Like I, I don't don't undervalue that because that's, that's actually really nice as well. Level five, your genome enters an excited state. So we're going to throw our first rapid advancement onto Stinger. So it's at four. And that means our Stinger is now doing. I uh, saw. Yeah, OK, so the chance to sting doesn't scale. It's always going to be 20 for 20 percent. However, its damage goes up as well as its pen. And then the actual damage of the poison goes up, which is nice. Kind of wish, oh, we get reputation with arachnids. I kind of wish their reputation with arachnids would scale. Can't have it all though. Um, I'm gonna pick up these goggles. We're just about at the end of our first episode. I'm gonna try and keep these around 30 minutes. We got some books in Red Rock, which is kind of nice. I'd like to complete our Red Rock quest. Oh my God, are you kidding me, buddy? There's a freaking slug snout in Red Rock. I hate that. Oh no, no, Dread Trooper, don't, don't scare me into the slug snout domain. I'm gonna back right up. Okay, what do we do about that? <laughs> um, we could certainly try and take them on, but I don't like that idea. I would like to keep an eye on where they are. Honestly, you could find worse places to encounter a slug snout. But here's what I'm thinking. I'm hoping that they're, they've stayed in their kind of north domain over there. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start digging. Because <laughs> this is shale. We've got pretty good, pretty good pen. I'm going to be very careful not to spam this in case they're wandering around a little bit. Wow, it takes a long time to break this stuff at our current level. Uh, this might not be the play. Hmm. I mean, we can poison the shale. That's kind of nice. And notice I'm already not being careful now. Come on, buddy. Uh. Okay, I don't want to fight the slugs now. I really don't. That's not, that's not the play. Why do we have to have slugs now in both entrances? That is brutal. Also gonna eat a meal. Oh, why did I have to put it there actually? There we go, get rid of that. Okay, this is promising. down okay okay staircase oh nice okay okay this is that's that's quite good here's our snapjaw settlement shouldn't be a problem nothing compared to a slug snout anyway giant amoeba i maintain is like disproportionately one of the hardest early game enemies just for like how like they're they're not a big deal but they just like hurt more than they should 
Cool, I managed to poison that chameleon. Lots of arrows over here, we're collecting them. I'm not gonna use my stinger on Snapjaw. What was that sound? It sounds like something got beguiled. Okay, they're poisoned. Oh god, they hit hard. They fortunately... I think they died. I think they did die. Yeah. I do want to check out this settlement. There's usually some good stuff here. They're poisoned. Nice. These guys can crit. Which can be a bummer. Ooh, look at all the stuff they had. I'm gonna grab this Nullworm skull. That can be nice. Okay, I think we're good otherwise. What do we got in here? Uh, another dagger. Lots of trash. I ought to remember to come back here. Also, I did get. I just did. Um, I did just pick up a bronze ingot. That's actually quite a lot of money in the early game. So that's nice. Um, these warlords or whatever they're called. What are these guys called? Warriors. They can hit hard. They can pack quite a punch. But poison should take care of them pretty well. Grab. Kill that. Um, and we found our Gersh. Oh, uh, what? Oh, Gyre White of a Golgut. They've gotten kind of an upgrade. They've, up, they've got an updated tile. Carbide hammer. A figure is marked by star orchid robes as a votary of the gyre and reveler in the metamorphic Newman. Nails filth black flesh from out her sleeve in a gesture poem to say that plague is but transmutation. Death is the ladder to life, and the existence of children proves the prelaki of raw growth. A rank and acrid smell clings to her. Creepy. Um, we're getting out of there. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that the... Oh, well, the uh, seed spitter is dead. Please follow me. Whoa. Is the Gyrling dead? Okay, that Gyr Gershling is poisoned. I feel like the Gershling tile got updated as well. Oh, I didn't get the credit for the kill there. But I do get the corpse, and we're out of here. I'm gonna be careful here, because I still do not want to encounter a slug snout. Go ahead and click, and then click. No? Click. There we go. Just, uh, just being a little bit, a, a hair, a smidge more careful than normal and we'll hand in our we'll hand in our, our pale spiraling found a strange figure shadowing the creature oh in dyed robes flashing gestures of hand and ranting about the pipe milk a gyra white must be those monads worship the gersh nephilim as half gods gersh nephilim creatures of the seventh plague Demons born on the moon stair, quickened to life for the purpose of eating our young. Reshef cast them back before, but if they've returned. Cumit, your discovery is invaluable to us. We are but poor farmers, and sharpen our vine reapers is all we can do. But there may be others outside of Jopa who can do more. Take these prickly boons as thanks. I will not soon forget your service to us, Cumit. Please leave me now to muse on this. So there is our uh, reference to Creatures of the Seventh Gyre. It was here all along. Unless it's been updated, but I don't think it has. I think that that's always been there. Um, we have some artifacts. Let's go ahead and examine those first. Also, I really should have um, maybe robbed our various huts first. Accurate, uh, acid, gas grenade, ooh, with a cell. Freezing club. Oh no, I broke it! No! It's broken. Ah! 
Oh, at least we got some fix-it spray foam. It's not going to be worth using it on whatever that is. It's probably a chem cell. But hey, um, I've got a fungicide grenade and I've got a... We could give an acid. Oh, let's give the freezing club. We leveled up. I will go fetch your wire and that will end our first episode. And hey, how are you doing? Maybe throw your uh, throw a comment in the in the uh, comments <laughs> to uh, appease the algorithm beast and uh, maybe hit the like button and consider subscribing. This is going to be a long one, a long series, I think. Um, I'm going to try and play as carefully as I can and maybe we'll get our first classic win. Now, just to set expectations, I have said for the longest time that if I ever got basically beat the Tomb of the Eaters on classic run, I would basically end the run there because I've never um, basically I've never gotten the bright shoal ending but it would be kind of a bummer if I did that now wouldn't it because if I do then uh, we won't get to see most of the new content including the new gyre nephilim and all that fun stuff and I also won't get to build my golem so I probably am not going to do that, and if I manage to do things successfully in this run, then I'll just, you know, do another run where I get my Bright Shoal ending. But anyway, if you are enjoying this, definitely hit all the buttons, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.